All substances are made up of atoms that are constantly in motion. Most things we see around us are solid, but many substances exist as liquids and gases. The difference between solids, liquids and gases is in how fast their atoms are moving. In solids, the atoms vibrate but stay in fixed positions because of the atoms' strong attraction to each other. In a liquid, the atoms move faster than in a solid, so the force of attraction between atoms is weaker compared with a solid. The forces are still strong enough to bind the atoms together. In gases, the atoms move relatively fast and not bound to each other. Thermal energy of a substance relates to the total sum of the kinetic energy of its atoms and molecules. Since a substance's atoms are not moving as fast in a solid as in a liquid, it has less thermal energy. Similarly, in its liquid form, it has less thermal energy than it does as a gas. Thermal energy is the property of a system. It is the kinetic energy of the particles in that system. We could, for example, talk about the amount of thermal energy in a cup of coffee. When you camp during a cold night, you warm yourself by a fire. Heat relates to the amount of thermal energy transferred from one substance to another. In the case of the campfire, heat is transferred from the fire to the gas in the air and then to your hands. Heat cannot be measured directly, but is detected as changes in temperature. When two bodies at different temperatures are in contact with each other, thermal energy will be transferred from the hottest substance to the cooler substance until the two bodies are at the same temperature, reaching equilibrium. Temperature depends on the average kinetic energy of the atoms and molecules in a substance. Temperature indicates how hot or cold a substance is. Temperature is measured with a thermometer and is measured in degrees Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. As the temperature increases, the velocity of the atoms increases. Therefore, the hotter the substance, the greater the average kinetic energy of the substance. This means hotter substances have more thermal energy. As thermal energy is transferred as heat from one object to another, it is possible to determine the amount of energy transferred. This can be done by determining the temperature change of an object and multiplying by its heat capacity. By using these measures, the heat energy in joules can be determined. One joule is about the same amount of energy it takes to lift a 3.5-ounce book 3 feet. The ice's average thermal energy is less than the average thermal energy in your hand. That is, the ice's temperature is lower than the temperature of your hand. Some thermal energy transfers as heat from your hand to the ice. Your nerves detect this loss of thermal energy, sending a message to your brain that you interpret as cold. Conversely, when you touch a substance with an average thermal energy greater than the thermal energy in your hand, you interpret this gain of thermal energy as warm or hot. Although we might think only about heating water for a hot drink or warming our hands on a cold day, the concept of thermal energy applies to all substances and matter.